he's a good boy. Well, definitely looks like it's going to rain. I've put my waterproof on because I think it might be, I might get a bit soggy if I don't. He's a good boy. I hope you notice this horse box is looking exceptionally clean, which it doesn't normally do. <laughs> That's because Gary has uh, given it a good wash with the pressure washer. Good boy. I've put loads of fly spray on. No, don't eat that for Rook. You know you're not supposed to eat that. It gets us all in your bit and everything. Yes. Good boy for standing. I'm sure you'll recognise where we are. This is beautiful Boltby and Farouk and I are here to do our last training run because he has qualified to go to Wellvale to compete in the Novice National Championship, the 48 kilometres. Whoa, stand, stand. Good boy. Let's just get that gate. Wait, don't be rushing off. Wait. And whoa, over, whoa, good boy. St no, good boy, well done. That's him slowing down to open this gate. I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> Good boy, Farouk. Good boy. Now, this is just a little, little bit difficult, isn't it? Which is the best way? Come back and over and whoa. 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 Wait, steady, steady. Shut the gate, wait for the gate to shut. Come on, I have to get that gate. Good boy, stand. Whoa. Whoa. And back. Good boy, back. Good boy. It's quite cloudy. It is kind of forecast rain, but not not a huge percentage, like it's saying, oh, there's probably 10% chance of it raining. <laughs> Flies are out, but what I have done, I have brought, and whoa, whoa, I have brought this lavender, because I've read up that flies don't like lavender. Stand, stand. So, well, I've put fly spray all over his body. I can't do his nose. It's too far down for me to reach. But I've done top of his head. Well, it's still beautiful even though it's dull even though it's a dull day it's still beautiful and the heather's looking nice so Wellvale is about two and a half hours drive from our house um, we have to be we have to be there well I want to be there an hour before us vetting which 
uh, the vetting is between 9.15 and 10. So I want to be there really about 8, 8.15. So that Farouk can be calm. Uh, we can get our things ready for setting off and everything. Um, then we do the, the, we're doing it in two stages. We do the 30, 32 kilometre to start with. We come back, we do a vetting. Um, so it's important to get to the vet at the halfway stage as soon as possible because the clock stops once you get to the vets. Um, and then you have another... I don't know how long it is, but it'll be between 30 and 40 minutes, they'll tell us on the day, no doubt, um, where you, it's a compulsory stop. The clock doesn't go, of course. And um, we then do a 16 kilometre ride and then come back and get another vet in. Wait. Swap hands. Over. Over. That's it. Good boy. Walk on. Good boy. That's good. So, as it's a two and a half hour drive back, Renz and I have decided we're going to stay over. Unfortunately, well, unfortunately, it doesn't really matter to us because we don't have living in our box and we don't want living because we want the box to be as small as possible so that it's easy to park. But that does mean our choices are very limited to what we can do because, of course, we have the horse with us. Um, you can camp there. There's no problem in camping. There's plenty of... Um, area for the horses to have their own little fenced off area but Renz is um, 71 this year I'm 62 and we just don't fancy camping at our age so we have decided and have booked other accommodation it's a place very near to the event which is great they have they take horses so they have their own paddocks and if if you want to hire a stable you can do I can hear, don't know if you can hear these flies but they're buzzing around my head I think I might have to put some of this lavender on see if it works for me <laughs> um, so we've hired a narrow boat just for the one night the Saturday night after the competition we'll leave in the morning and come back home but we just thought it'd be too much to do the drive in the morning for two and a half hours, then a 48 kilometre ride for myself, and then I've got to drive back, which I did last year, but uh, you know, it's another year, I'm another year older now, and we just don't fancy that, it takes it out of me, and it's not very pleasant after a nice ride, you know, to be faced with that, so that's what we've done. Just put a bit of this oil lavender oil on near my ear to see if that makes any difference. Good boy. Wait, let me just get them settled. Wait, good boy. Good boy. Hello! Thank you. Trot and walk. Uh, 
Fruk has done three competitive endurance rides this season. So this one at Wellvale will be his fourth. Unfortunately, the one that we were going to go to has been cancelled. We have also booked in for one in Wales. So this is going to be our holiday. We're going to Wales on holiday and we're going to take part in the Welsh Dragon event. We're just going to do, it's a four day event, but we're just going to do one, one uh, ride of 32 kilometres. And we've booked, uh, again, a place that takes horses and uh, they do bed and breakfast. They also do um, self-catering and that sort of thing. But uh, we've gone for bed and breakfast. Go on, fruit. Well, so far, no rain. If you don't get our newsletter, you won't know that um, we've actually changed our farrier. After being very happy with Stephen Bean for seven years, we've decided it's just too much travelling now as we've got older. Um, so we have said farewell to Steve, which is very sad because we've got to know him quite well. We're going to go with a local farrier. He's going to come out to our house. He's very well qualified and his name is James Haig. He'll be coming out on Tuesday. And whoa, whoa. I'm going to put a bit of this on my finger and see if I can get it onto his side of his face. Stand, good boy. Stand. Stand. Good boy. And trot. And walk. Good boy. Yes, good boy. And trot. Lower. Good boy. And walk. And walk. Good boy. Good boy. Fruits got um, a knitted bow on today. It's a peach colour. Very fetching, I think, on him. the video don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon we love reading the comments we love emojis and we'd love a thumbs up we have over 2,000 videos if you would like to look at some more all you need to do is click on the Apollo icon which will take you to our home page and then you can select videos or playlists thanks for watching
TTFN.